Alrighty, so we're going to do a demonstration of the software upgrade procedure. We've got a V2 Nate Crony. We've got the mobile device that we're using to connect to the Nate Crony. And you're going to need a Wi-Fi access point. I'm going to use the Wi-Fi hotspot on another mobile phone. It's just really quick and easy to use a hotspot. You could use also your Wi-Fi at home. Any way that you can get the Crony to connect to an existing Wi-Fi network. So we're going to go into the Wi-Fi screen here. I'm then going to type the passwords uh, for the access point to connect to another access point. So guest is the network name and guest 123 hash. I click submit. That's going to go and do a reset of the crony. And when it comes back up, we can see that it's connected to the hotspot. That's also an advantage of using uh, a mobile phone like an Android, really quickly tells you if something's connected to it or not, so you'll be able to use that to go through the update procedure. So we go back to the shoot screen, we can see down the bottom here in the shoot screen, instead of having 0000, we've actually got uh, another IP address, 192.168.39.174. You need to make sure before you start the uh, upgrade procedure that that is not 000 because that would indicate you do definitely do not have internet access. So we're connected to the hotspot, we've got that IP address, we go into our setup screen. Now you will get a specific code, software update code, when you want to do an upgrade. We can also see down the very bottom that we're currently on version 3.7 of the software. So the software code is ABC123 for this, uh, do not use that, it won't work. So we've got the code in there, we're connected to the Wi-Fi, what we're going to do is to block the front sensor, I'm just going to use my finger, block the front sensor, then we press set and we count to 10, 1000 and, well, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, we take the finger out. So you can see that it disconnected, it's reconnected to the Wi-Fi hotspot. At the moment, it's doing the update procedure. We'll see that disconnect again. Disconnected, then it reconnected. So it disconnects and reconnects, does the update, then does another reset, disconnects, reconnects. So if we have a look here, uh, it would have changed potentially its, there we go, so that's the crony there. All right, so then we can then go back to the screen. Always connect. We go back to the shoot screen, and here we can see we are now on version 4.3. Excellent, so we've upgraded there. So what we can now do, the upgrade was successful. You'll have the new features, new functionality. We go back to the Wi-Fi screen and just click Submit, which will clear all the passwords out of there so it won't try and reconnect to the hotspot because I don't need that. Uh, we go through, we click that. It'll do another reset. We've disconnected from the hotspot, so we don't need the hotspot anymore. And there we go. We are now back up and running We've got 0000 because we're not connected to the hotspot. We're on the new version 4.3 and we're all up and running. So there's the software update procedure for the Nate Crony. If you're having any tips and tricks, um, if you can't see the hotspot, put your finger in there for maybe 11 to 12 seconds instead of 10. Make sure if you're in America, you count 10 alligators. In Australia, we count 10 crocodiles. Um, UK, I don't know. Um, so hold it in there for a little bit longer is probably a trick if it's not doing the update correctly. You may need to do it once or twice, possibly as well. So that's the update procedure for the Nate Crane. Any questions, any queries, let us know. Enjoy your testing.